Al Pacino's birth and family. Al Pacino is a renowned actor whose talent has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Born on April 25, 1940 in New York City, Al Pacino's journey from a humble background to becoming a Hollywood legend is a captivating story worth exploring. Birth and Early Life Al Pacino was born to Italian-American parents in the East Harlem neighborhood of the New York City. His full name is Alfredo James Pacino and he was the first child of his parents, Salvatore Pacino and Rose Gerard. The family lived in a modest apartment and money was often tied. Al's father worked as an insurance salesman and a bartender, while his mother had various jobs to make ends meet. Growing up in a working-class neighborhood had a significant impact on Al Pacino's life and career. The struggles of the experiences of his early years helped shape the gritty and authentic characters he would later portray on screen. Despite the challenges, Pacino had a strong bond with his family and his parents instilled in him a strong work ethic and a love for the arts. Family Al Pacino's family played a crucial role in his upbringing and his eventual success as an actor. He had three siblings, a younger brother Robert and two younger sisters Josette and Desire. The Pacino family's Italian heritage was an important part of their identity and they maintained strong connections to their roots, including speaking Italian at home. Sadly, Pacino's parents separated when he was just two years old, and this marked a difficult period in his life. His mother Rose took on the role of the primary caregiver for Al and his siblings. Money was often scarce, and the family moved around the city in search of affordable housing. Al Pacino's relationship with his mother was particularly significant. Rose encouraged her son's interest in acting and supported his dreams. She recognized his talents and enrolled him in acting classes at the Herbert Berghoff studio when he was a teenager. This early exposure to the world of theater would eventually lead to Pacino's breakthrough in acting. Despite the challenges, Al Pacino's family remained a source of love and support throughout his life. He often spoke fondly of his mother and credited her with being a driving force behind his success. Pacino's family ties served as a reminder of his roots and a motivation to pursue his passion for acting. Al Pacino's birth and family background may have been humble, but they played a crucial role in shaping the actor he would become. His Italian-American heritage, his close-knit family, and the challenges he faced growing up in a working-class neighborhood all contributed to his unique perspective and authenticity as an actor. Through hard work, determination, and the support of his family, Al Pacino rose to become one of the most respected and celebrated actors in the history of the Hollywood. His remarkable journey serves as an inspiring example of how talent and perseverance can lead to greatness, regardless of one's humble beginnings. Al Pacino's Journey into Acting Al Pacino, the legendary actor known for his powerful performances, had a journey into acting that is nothing short of remarkable. From his early fascination with the arts to his struggle as a young actor in the New York City and his eventual rise to fame, Pacino's story is a testament to passion, persistence, and the pursuit of one's dream. Let's explore Al Pacino's incredible journey into the world of acting. Early Passion for the Arts His interest in acting was ignited during his teenage years when his mother Rose recognized his talent and enrolled him in acting classes at the Herbert Berghoff Studio. These classes proved to be a turning point in Pacino's life as they provided him with the opportunity to explore his passion and develop his acting skills. Early Struggles Al Pacino's journey into acting was not without his share of challenges. In the early 1960s, he faced the harsh reality of trying to establish himself as an actor in New York City. Money was tight and Pacino took on various odd jobs to make ends meet, including working as a messenger and a busboy. Despite the financial difficulties, Pacino remained committed to his dream of becoming an actor. He continued to study and hone his craft at the Actors Studio, a renowned institution that has nurtured many talented actors. His dedication to his craft began to pay off when he started landing small roles in off-Broadway productions. Breakthrough on Stage Al Pacino's breakthrough in the world of acting came with his role in the play The Indian Wants the Bronx, which premiered in 1968. In this production, he portrayed the character of Bobby, a troubled young man. Pacino's performance was nothing short of electrifying, and it earned him widespread critical acclaim and a Tony Award as well. This success on the stage marked a turning point in Pacino's career. His raw talent and intense portrayal of character set him apart from others in the acting world. It wasn't long before his name started to gain recognition, and opportunities in the world of film soon followed. Rising Star in Hollywood 
Al Pacino's transition from the stage to the silver screen was seamless. In 1971, he made his film debut in The Panic in Needle Park, where his performance as a drug addict earned him critical praise. However, it was his role as Michael Corleone in Francis Ford Coppola's iconic film, The Godfather, 1972, that catapulted him to superstardom. Pacino's portrayal of Michael Corleone, a character torn between his family's criminal empire and his own morality, earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. This film marked the beginning of a fruitful collaboration between Pacino and Coppola and solidified his status as one of the Hollywood's brightest stars. Following The Godfather, Pacino continued to deliver exceptional performances in a series of iconic films, including Sir Pico, 1973, Dog Day Afternoon, 1975, and Scarface, 1983. His ability to inhabit complex and morally ambiguous character endeared him to the audiences and critics alike. Legacy and Continued Success Al Pacino's journey into acting not only resulted in personal success but also left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Throughout his career, he has received numerous accolades including an Academy Award for his role in Center for Women 1992. His work has continued to captivate audiences and he remains a respected and revered figure in the entertainment industry. In addition to his film career, Pacino has also returned to the stage over the years further showcasing his versatility as an actor. He has starred in various acclaimed productions on Broadway and has received Tony Awards for his stage work. Al Pacino's journey into acting is a story of passion, perseverance, and exceptional talent. From his early fascination with the arts to struggles as a young actor in New York City and his eventual rise to fame, Pacino's path to success is an inspiring example of how dedication to one's craft can lead to greatness. His contributions to both stage and screen have left an enduring legacy in the world of entertainment, making him a true icon in the realm of acting. Al Pacino's remarkable journey is a testament to the transformative power of pursuing one's dream with unwavering determination. Breakthrough Role Michael Corleone in The Godfather In the world of cinema, there are breakthrough moments that define an actor's career. For Al Pacino, that moment came when he portrayed Michael Corleone in Francis Ford Coppola's masterpiece, The Godfather 1972. This iconic role not only marked the turning point in Pacino's career, but also solidified his status as one of Hollywood's greatest actors. The Character of Michael Corleone Michael Corleone is a complex character at the heart of The Godfather. When we first meet him, he is the younger son of Vita Corleone, the patriarch of the powerful Corleone crime family. Michael, however, initially wants nothing to do with the family's criminal enterprises. He is a war hero, having served in the World War II and has aspirations of living a legitimate life far removed from the criminal underworld. What makes Michael's character so compelling is his transformation throughout the film. As circumstances unfold, he becomes increasingly involved in the family's criminal affairs, ultimately becoming a central figure in the Corleone family's operations. His journey from a reluctant outsider to a ruthless and calculating mafia boss forms the core of the film's narrative. Pacino's Casting and Initial Doubts Before Al Pacino was cast as Michael Corleone, there were doubts and hesitations among the filmmakers. At the time, Pacino was a relatively unknown actor with limited film experience. While established stars like Robert Redford and Warren Beatty was considered for the role. However, Francis Ford Coppola saw something in Pacino that others did not, an intensity and depth that perfectly suited the character of Michael. Pacino casting turned out to be the stroke of genius. He approached the role with a deep commitment to understanding the character's complexities and motivations. His preparation included immersing himself in the world of mafia, spending time with real mobsters, and mastering the Sicilian dialect. This dedication and preparation paid off handsomely in his performance. The Transformation of Al Pacino As the Godfather unfolds, we witness the remarkable transformation of Al Pacino's character, Michael Corleone. Pacino's portrayal is a masterclass in subtlety and nuance. In the beginning, Michael is reserved and conflicted, torn between his loyalty to his family and his desire for a different life. Pacino conveys this inner turmoil with a quiet intensity, using his eyes and expressions to reveal Michael's inner struggle. As the film progresses, we see Michael's gradual descent into the criminal world. 
Pacino's performance evolves accordingly. He becomes more assertive and coldly calculated, shedding his initial reluctance. The juxtaposition of Michael's transformation against his father's deteriorating health and the escalating mob conflicts creates a riveting and emotionally charged narrative. The infamous restaurant scene One of the most iconic moments in cinematic history is the climax of The Godfather. The restaurant scene in this scene, Michael confronts his family's enemies, settling scores and taking decisive action. Pacino's performance in this scene is nothing short of breathtaking. The tension is palpable as he calmly carries out his plan, all while maintaining an air of icy control. What sets Pacino's portrayal apart is his ability to convey Michael's internal turmoil even as he carries out acts of violence. He communicates the character's emotional complexity through subtle gestures and facial expressions. The audience is left in awe of Pacino's ability to evoke both sympathy and fear for Michael Corleone. Legacy and Impact Al Pacino's portrayal of Michael Corleone in The Godfather earned him the first Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Although he did not win the Oscar for this role, it marked the beginning of his illustrious career in film. His portrayal of Michael Corleone remains one of the most iconic and memorable characters in cinematic history. The Godfather itself went on to become the cinematic masterpiece and one of the greatest films ever made. It won three Academy Awards including Best Picture and solidified the mafia genre as a significant part of American history of cinema. The film's success propelled Al Pacino into the Hollywood elite, leading to a series of acclaimed performances in the years that followed. Al Pacino's breakthrough role as Michael Corleone in The Godfather is a shining example of an actor's transformative power. His nuanced portrayal of a character's evolution from innocence to ruthlessness is a testament to his talent and dedication. Pacino's performance not only defined his career, but also left an enduring impact on the world of films. His portrayal of Michael Corleone remains a touchstone for actors and filmmakers alike, serving as a reminder of remarkable possibilities that can be achieved when talent, preparation, and storytelling converge into the cinematic brilliance. Al Pacino's career in theater Al Pacino is widely recognized as one of the most accomplished actors in Hollywood, but his career in theater is equally remarkable. Before he became a household name in film, Pacino honed his craft on the stage, earning critical acclaim and leaving an indelible mark on the world of theater. Early theater beginnings Al Pacino's love for acting was ignited during his teenage years when his mother Rose enrolled him in acting classes at the Herbert Berghoff Studio in New York City. These early experiences in acting classes and small theater productions laid the foundation for what would become a stellar theater career. Pacino's early years in the theater were marked by hard work and determination. He performed in off-Broadway plays and worked tirelessly to improve his craft. It was during this time that he developed his distinctive acting style characterized by intensity, emotional depth, and authenticity. Breakthrough with The Indian Wants the Bronx In 1968, Al Pacino achieved a breakthrough in the theater world when he was cast in the role of Bobby in The Indian Wants the Bronx, a play by Israel Horowitz. Pacino's performance in this off-Broadway production was nothing short of electrifying. He portrayed a young man confronting issues of race and discrimination in a gritty urban setting. Pacino's portrayal of Bobby earned him widespread critical acclaim and a coveted Obie Award, which recognizes excellence in off-Broadway theater. This success on the stage marked the beginning of Pacino's ascent in the theater world and foreshadowed his future achievements in both theater and film. American Buffalo and Tony Award nomination. Al Pacino continued to build on his success in theater with his role in David Mamet's play American Buffalo, which premiered in 1976. In this production, Pacino played the character of Teach, a small-time crook with big dreams. Pacino's performance was a tour de force, capturing the essence of the character's desperation and ambition. Pacino's portrayal in American Buffalo earned him a Tony Award nomination for Best Actor in a Play. This nomination was a testament to his ability to excel in both the intimate setting of the theatre and the grandeur of the Broadway stage. Return to Broadway with the basic training of Pablo Hamel After his success in American Buffalo, Al Pacino returned to Broadway in 1977 with the basic training of Pablo Hamel, written by David Raab. 
Pacino played the titular role of Pablo Hummel, a soldier in the Vietnam War. The play explored themes of war, identity, and the impact of combat on the human psyche. Pacino's performance once again garnered critical acclaim, solidifying his reputation as a formidable stage actor. His ability to convey the complexities of a character dealing with the trauma of war showcased his depth and range as an actor. Glenn Gary Glenn Ross and another Tony Award In 1984, Al Pacino starred in the Broadway production of David Mamet's Glenn Gary Glenn Ross. In this play, Pacino played the role of Ricky Roma, a slick and persuasive real estate salesman. Pacino's portrayal of Roma was charismatic and magnetic, earning him another Tony Award nomination. The success of Glengarry Glenn Ross demonstrated Pacino's enduring appeal in the world of theater and his ability to bring Mammoth's sharp and rapid-fire dialogue to life. The play's theme of competition, ambition, and the cost of success resonated with the audiences, and Pacino's performance was a key factor in its critical and commercial success. Continued Dedication to the Theater Throughout his career, Al Pacino has maintained a strong connection to the theater, returning to the stage periodically to take on challenging and diverse roles. He has starred in various acclaimed productions including Salome 1992, Huey 1996, and The Merchant of Venice 2010, where he played the iconic character Shylock. Pacino's dedication to the theater is a testament to his love for the craft of acting. He has consistently sought out roles that challenge him and allow him to explore the depths of human emotion and character. His contributions to the theater have not only earned him accolades, but have also enriched the world of live performance. While Al Pacino is celebrated for his iconic roles in film, his theater career is equally impressive and deserving of recognition. From his early days in off-Broadway productions to his Tony Award-nominated performances on Broadway, Pacino has proven himself to be a consummate stage actor. His ability to bring complex characters to life, his commitment to authenticity, and his magnetic presence on the stage have left a lasting impact on the world of theatre. Al Pacino's journey through the world of theatre is a testament to his enduring passion for acting and his unwavering dedication to his craft. His contributions to both theatre and film have solidified his status as a true legend in the world of entertainment. Iconic Performances Al Pacino's Most Memorable Roles Al Pacino, one of the Hollywood's most celebrated actors, has graced the silver screen with a multitude of unforgettable performances over his illustrious career. Known for his versatility and intensity, Al Pacino's portrayals of various complex characters have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Michael Corleone in The Godfather Trilogy Al Pacino's portrayal of Michael Corleone in Francis Ford Coppola's epic, The Godfather Trilogy, is undoubtedly one of the most iconic roles. In the first film, released in 1972, Pacino introduces us to Michael as a reluctant son of the Corleone crime family. His transformation from a war hero with dreams of a legitimate life to a ruthless mafia boss is a masterclass in character development. Pacino's performance earned him critical acclaim and an Academy Award nomination. As the trilogy progresses with The Godfather Part II, 1974, and The Godfather Part III, 1990, we witness Michael's moral descent and the tragic consequences of his choices. Pacino's ability to convey Michael's inner turmoil from conflicted to calculating is a testament to his exceptional acting skills. His portrayal of this complex character has left an enduring legacy in the world of cinema. Tony Montana in Scarface, 1983 in Brian De Palma's crime drama, Scarface, Al Pacino takes on the role of Tony Montana, a Cuban immigrant who rises to power in the drug trade in Miami. Pacino's performance as the charismatic yet unhinged Tony is nothing short of electrifying. He immerses himself in the character, adopting a distinctive accent and mannerisms that make Tony Montana one of the most iconic anti-heroes in film history. Pacino's portrayal captures Tony's ruthless ambition and eventual downfall with intensity and magnetism. Lines like, say hello to my little friend have become legendary and his performance in Scarface has achieved cult status. Pacino's ability to humanize a character who is simultaneously repulsive and captivating showcases his exceptional range as an actor. Frank Serpico in Serpico 1973 in the crime drama Serpico, Al Pacino steps into the shoes of Frank Serpico, 
a real-life NYPD detective who exposed corruption within the police force. Pacino's portrayal of Serpico is a masterful depiction of a man driven by unwavering commitment to truth and justice. He captures the character's courage and determination, as well as his struggles against a system rife with corruption. Pacino's transformation in Frank Serpico is remarkable, from his distinctive beard to his authentic portrayal of the character's internal and external battles. The film earned him his first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor and solidified his status as a leading actor in Hollywood. Lieutenant Colonel Frank Slade in Center for Women 1992 Al Pacino's performance as a Frank Slade in Center for Women earned him his first Academy Award win for Best Actor. In this heartwarming drama, Pacino plays a blind and bitter retired army officer who embarks on a journey with a young caretaker played by Chris O'Donnell. Pacino's portrayal of Frank Slade is a tour de force, capturing the character's complexity with depth and vulnerability. His monologue at the climax of the film is a standout moment showcasing Pacino's ability to convey a wide range of emotions. Center for Women marked a triumphant moment in Pacino's career and remains one of the most beloved roles. John Milton in The Devil's Advocate 1997 In the supernatural thriller, The Devil's Advocate, Al Pacino takes on the role of John Milton, a charismatic and enigmatic lawyer who is quite literally the devil himself. Pacino's performance in this film is a devilish delight as he exudes charm, charisma and menace in equal measure. Pacino's portrayal of the devil is both seductive and terrifying. He relishes the role delivering memorable lines with devilish clay. His scenes opposite Keanu Reeves, who plays a morally conflicted lawyer, are particularly riveting. The Devil's Advocate showcases Pacino's ability to bring larger-than-life characters to a screen with a magnetic presence. Al Pacino's career has been marked by a series of iconic performances that have cemented his status as a cinematic legend. From his unforgettable portrayal of Michael Corleone in the Godfather trilogy to his intense and transformative roles in Scarface, Serpico, Center for Women and The Devil's Advocate, Pacino's body of work is a testament to his exceptional talent and versatility as an actor. His ability to inhabit diverse characters and convey their complexities with authenticity and depth is what sets him apart as one of the greatest actors of our time. Al Pacino's memorable roles have left an indelible impact on the world of cinema, and his legacy as a performer continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the globe. Awards and Accolades – Al Pacino's Impact on Hollywood Al Pacino is a name that resonates with excellence and mastery in the world of Hollywood. With a career spanning over five decades, he has not only captivated audiences with his unforgettable performances but has also received numerous awards and accolades that celebrate his exceptional talent and enduring impact on the film industry. Academy Awards and Nominations One of the most prestigious honors in the film industry is the Academy Award, and Al Pacino has received his fair share of recognition from the Oscars. He earned his first Academy Award nomination for his role as Michael Corleone in The Godfather 1972. Although he didn't win for that performance, it marked the beginning of his Oscar journey. Pacino's second Academy Award nomination came for his portrayal as Frank Serpico in Serpico 1973, in which he played a real-life NYPD detective who exposed corruption within the police force. Despite not winning the award, Pacino's powerful and authentic performance left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. In 1993, Pacino was finally awarded the coveted Oscar for his role as Frank Slade in Center for Women. This win was a significant moment in his career as it recognized his outstanding talent and contributions to the world of cinema. In his acceptance speech, Pacino expressed his gratitude for the recognition and shared his love for acting. Golden Globe Awards Al Pacino's impact on Hollywood is also evident through his Golden Globe Awards. He has received numerous Golden Globe nominations and wins throughout his career. His first Golden Globe win came for his role in The Godfather 1972, where he was awarded the Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor in a Motion Picture. Pacino's second Golden Globe win was his performance in Serpico 1973, solidifying his reputation as a top-notch actor. He received subsequent nominations and wins for films like Dog Day Afternoon 1975 and The Panic in Needle Park 1971, further establishing himself as a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood. Tony Awards for Theatre 
While Al Pacino is renowned for his work in film, he has also made a significant impact in the world of theatre. His commitment to the stage has earned him Tony Award nominations and wins for his outstanding performances. Pacino's first Tony Award nomination came for his role in Does a Tiger Wear a Necktie in 1969. He won his first Tony Award in 1977 for his performance in the basic training of Pavlo Hummel, where he played the titular role of Pavlo Hummel, a soldier in the Vietnam War. His contributions to Broadway continued with roles in plays such as American Buffalo 1984 and Glenn Glary Glenn Ross 1984, both of which earned him Tony Award nominations. Pacino's ability to seamlessly transition between film and theatre showcases his versatility as an actor and his profound impact on both mediums. Honorary Awards and Lifetime Achievement In addition to individual awards for specific roles, Al Pacino has received numerous honorary awards and recognition for his enduring contributions to the film industry. These accolades highlight his lasting influence on Hollywood. One of the highest honors bestowed upon Pacino is the AFI Life Achievement Award presented to him by the American Film Institute in 2007. This award recognized his remarkable career and contributions to the art of filmmaking. It was a testament to his enduring legacy in Hollywood. Pacino has also been honed with the Kennedy Center Honors, which celebrates individuals who have made significant contributions to American culture through the performing arts. This prestigious award recognized his impact on theater, film, and the broader world of entertainment. Al Pacino's journey through the world of awards and accolades reflects the profound impact he has had on Hollywood and the entertainment industry as a whole. His Academy Awards, Golden Globes, Tony Awards, and honorary recognitions underscores his exceptional talent and enduring influence. Pacino's ability to inhabit diverse and complex characters has made him a beloved and respected figure in the world of cinema. His performances continue to resonate with the audiences of all generations, and his body of work stands as a testament to the transformative power of storytelling and the enduring legacy of a true Hollywood legend. Al Pacino's Collaboration with Director Martin Scorsese the partnership between actor Al Pacino and director Martin Scorsese is one of the most iconic and enduring collaborations in the history of cinema. Together they have created some of the most memorable and influential films in Hollywood. Taxi Driver 1976 The first collaboration between Al Pacino and Martin Scorsese did not happen as Pacino turned down the role of Travis Pickle in Taxi Driver. However, this role ultimately went to Robert De Niro marking the beginning of a fruitful partnership between De Niro and Scorsese. While Pacino's involvement in the film didn't come to fruition, it set the stage for future collaborations between the two. Mean Streets, 1973 The official partnership between Pacino and Scorsese began with Mean Streets. Although Pacino did not star in this film, his influence can be felt in the way the film captures the gritty and authentic portrayal of the New York City streets. Mean Streets marked the start of Scorsese's exploration of urban crime and the complexity of his characters. Raging Bull 1980 Raging Bull was a pivotal film in Martin Scorsese's career and it marked the return of Al Pacino to work with the director. However, it was Robert De Niro who took the lead role as Jake LaMotta, a troubled and violent boxer. The film is a masterclass in character study and storytelling, with De Niro delivering a transformative performance. Pacino's connection to the project came during the development stage as he initially expressed interest in playing the role of La Mata. However, he later decided to pass on the role, which ultimately went to De Niro. Raging Bull is considered often as one of the Scorsese's greatest achievements and has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. The Irishman 2019 After a long gap in their collaborations, Al Pacino and Martin Scorsese reunited for The Irishman. This epic crime drama, also starring Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, explores the life of Frank Sheeran, a hitman involved in the Buffalino crime family and his relationship with labor union leader Jimmy Hoffa. In The Irishman, Pacino plays the charismatic and volatile Jimmy Hoffa, a role that earned him widespread critical acclaim and his first ever Academy Award win for Best Supporting Actor. The film showcases Pacino's ability to embody larger-than-life characters and bring depth to complex roles. His collaboration with Scorsese on this project reaffirmed their enduring creative partnership. While Al Pacino and Martin Scorsese have not collaborated on as many films as some other actors-directors duos, 
Their partnership has undeniably left a profound impact on the world of cinema. Through their work together, they have created some of the most iconic and influential films in Hollywood history. From the gritty streets of Mean Streets to the powerful portrayal of Jimmy Hoffa in The Irishman, Pacino and Scorsese have demonstrated an incredible ability to explore complex characters and themes. Their collaborations have not only resulted in critical acclaim, but have also contributed to the rich tapestry of American cinema. Their partnership is a testament to the magic that happens when a talented actor and a visionary director come together to bring stories to life on the big screen. While there may not be a long list of Pacino Scorsese collaborations, each film they have worked on together has left an indelible mark and continues to be celebrated by audiences and critics alike. The enduring influence of Al Pacino and Martin Scorsese's collaborations will undoubtedly continue to shape the world of film for generations to come. Al Pacino's Notable Films of the 1980s and 1990s Al Pacino, one of the Hollywood's most iconic actors, continued to shine in the 1980s and 1990s with a range of compelling and unforgettable films. During this period, he demonstrated his versatility and artistic depth by taking on diverse roles that showcased his exceptional talent. Scarface 1983 in Scarface, directed by Brian De Palma, Al Pacino delivered a tour de force performance as Tony Montana, a Cuban immigrant who rises to power in the Miami drug trade. Pacino's portrayal of Tony is legendary for his intensity, charisma, and explosive moments. The film is known for its iconic quotes and memorable scenes, and Pacino's transformation into the larger-than-life character solidified his status as a Hollywood legend. Arthur Rotter, 1982 Arthur Rotter is a comedy drama film that offered a departure from Al Pacino's typically intense roles. In this film, he plays the role of Ivan Travelian, a struggling playwright and single father trying to balance his career and family life. The film showcased Pacino's comedic talents and his ability to bring depth to a character in a different genre. Sea of Love, 1989 in Sea of Love, Pacino takes on the role of Detective Frank Keller, a homicide detective investigating a series of murders. The film is a neo-noir thriller that explores themes of love, obsession, and betrayal. Pacino's performance filled with nuance and vulnerability contributes to the film's suspense and emotional depth. Center for Women, 1992 Al Pacino's performance as Frank Slade in Center for Women earned him his first Academy Award for Best Actor. The film follows the journey of a blind and bitter retired army officer who embarks on an adventure with a young caretaker. Pacino's portrayal of Slade is a tour de force, capturing both the character's abrasive exterior and his underlying vulnerability. The Godfather Part 3 1990 Returning to his iconic role as Michael Corleone, Al Pacino reprises his character in Godfather Part 3. Although the film received mixed reviews, Pacino's performance as the aging patriarch of the Corleone family was widely praised. He brought depth and complexity to the character, reflecting Michael's regrets and struggles as he attempts to legitimize the family business. Heat 1995 In Heat, directed by Michael Mann, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro shared the screen for the first time in their careers. Pacino played Detective Vincent Hanna, a seasoned police officer pursuing a gang of skilled bank robbers led by De Niro's character. The film is known for its intense cat-and-mouse dynamic between the two actors and their memorable coffee shop scene. Pacino's portrayal of Hannah is a testament to his ability to create a multifaceted character in a crime thriller. Donnie Brasco, 1997 In Donnie Brasco, Pacino took on the role of Benjamin Lefty Ruggiero, a seasoned mobster who unwittingly befriends an undercover FBI agent played by Johnny Depp. The film explores the complexities of the relationship between the two characters. Pacino's performance as Lefty earned critical acclaim for its authenticity and emotional depth, showing his ability to convey the inner turmoil of a character caught in a dangerous world. Al Pacino's notable films of the 1980s and 1990s reflect his ability to take on a wide range of roles, from intense crime dramas to comedic and dramatic characters, his performances during these decades solidifies his status as one of the Hollywood's most respected and versatile actors. Whether he was playing iconic characters like a Tony Montana or returning to beloved roles like Michael Corleone, Pacino's presence on the screen continued to captivate audiences and showcase his enduring talent in the world of cinema. 
Al Pacino's return to the stage in the 21st century. Al Pacino, renowned for his powerful performances in film, made a triumphant return to the stage in the 21st century. While he had achieved superstardom in Hollywood, his love for the theatre never waned. The Irresistible Rise of Arturo Uy, 2002 In 2002, Al Pacino made his long-awaited return to the stage in the Beltot Brecht's play, The Irresistible Rise of Arturo Uy. This production, directed by Simon McBurney, featured Pacino in the title role, portraying a ruthless Chicago gangster who seeks to control the cauliflower trade. The play is a satirical exploration of the rise of fascism, drawing parallels to real-world political events. Pacino's return to the stage was met with great anticipation and excitement from both fans and the theatre enthusiasts. His performance in Arturo Uy showcased his remarkable stage presence and ability to command the audience's attention. The production was a critical success and marked a significant moment in Pacino's theatre career. Salome and Val Salome, 2006 and 2011 Al Pacino's passion for theatre extended beyond acting. He was also drawn to directing. In 2006, Pacino directed and starred in a production of Oscar Valls' Salome. The play, known for its controversial themes and symbolism, allowed Pacino to explore the complexities of the character of King Herod. Pacino's fascination with the character and the play led him to create a documentary titled Valls Salome in 2011, which chronicled his journey of bringing Salome to the stage. The documentary showcased Pacino's dedication to the craft and its commitment to exploring the depths of his character. Glengarry Glen Ross 2012 Al Pacino's love for the theatre and passion for the works of David Mamet led to the return to Broadway in 2012. He joined the cast of Glengarry Glen Ross, portraying the character Shelley Levine, a desperate and struggling real estate salesman. Pacino's performance in Glengarry Glen Ross was a masterclass in Mammoth's sharp and rapid-fire dialogue. His portrayal of Shelley Levine was filled with nuance, capturing the character's desperation and moral dilemmas. The production received critical acclaim and Pacino's return to Broadway was celebrated as a triumph. China Doll 2015-2016 Al Pacino's return to the stage continued with the production of China Doll, written by David Mamet and directed by Pam McKinnon. The play featured Pacino's as Mickey Ross, a wealthy man grappling with a personal and political issues. China Doll marked another collaboration between Pacino and Mamet, known for their successful partnership in theatre. The play explored themes of power, felt, and the complexities of human relationships. Pacino's performance once again showcased his ability to tackle complex characters and deliver compelling and emotionally charged performances. Pacino One Night Only 2017 In 2017, Al Pacino took a different approach to his return to the stage with the production Pacino One Night Only. This solo performance allowed Pacino to connect with his audience in an intimate and personal way. The show was a combination of storytelling, film clips, and reflection on his career. During Pacino One Night Only, Pacino shared anecdotes from his life and career, offering a glimpse into the world of Hollywood legend. The production allowed him to engage with his fans and showcase his storytelling skills in a unique theatrical format. Al Pacino returned to the stage in 21st century was marked by a series of memorable productions and performances that reaffirmed his status as a multifaceted and timeless actor. His dedication to the craft of acting and his passion for theatre were evident in each of his stage appearances. Whether he was portraying a ruthless gangster in Arturo Uy, exploring the complexity of King Herod in Salome, or delivering Mammoth's sharp dialogue in Glengarry Glen Ross, Pacino's return to the stage showcased his versatility and his ability to bring depth to a wide range of characters. Beyond his acting prowess, Pacino's foray into directing and his willingness to engage with audiences in a more personal setting demonstrated his commitment to the art of storytelling and his enduring love for theatre. Al Pacino's return to the stage in the 21st century served as a reminder of his enduring passion for live performance and his continued impact on the world of theatre and film. The Personal Life of Al Pacino Al Pacino, the legendary actor known for his captivating performances on screen and stage, also has a fascinating personal life that has intrigued the fans and the media for decades. Education and Early Life Pacino attended the High School of Performing Arts in the New York City, where he initially showed an interest in acting. 
However, he struggled academically and dropped out at the age of 17. Despite not completing high school, his passion for acting continued to burn brightly. He started acting at the Herbert Burkhoff studio, where he honed his craft and prepared for a career in the theatre. Family Al Pacino has had a relatively private personal life, often keeping details about his relationships and family out of the public eye. However, he has been involved in a few significant relationships over the years. One of his most high-profile relationships was with Diane Keaton, who played his on-screen wife Kay Adams in the Godfather trilogy. Their off-screen romance garnered significant attention during that period. Pacino is also a father of three children. He has a daughter, Julie Marie, with acting coach Jan Tarrant, and twins, Anton James and Olivia Rose, with actress Beverly D'Angelo. Passions and Interest Beyond acting, Al Pacino has a deep passion for theatre. He has been known to immerse himself in the world of live performance, not only as an actor but also as a director. His stage appearances in the play like Salome and Glenn Glary Glenn Ross reflect his dedication to the theatre arts. Pacino is also a devoted fan of Shakespearean drama. He has tackled some of the bar's most iconic roles, including Richard III and Sherlock in The Merchant of Venice, both on stage and in film adaptation. In addition to his love for the arts, Pacino is an avid sports enthusiast. He has been spotted at various sporting events, including basketball games, over the years. His passion for sports serves as a testament to his diverse interests outside of entertainment industry. Awards and Recognition Throughout his career, Al Pacino has received numerous awards and accolades for his contributions to film and theatre. He has won an Academy Award for Best Actor, a Tony Award for his stage performances, and four Golden Globe Awards, among other honours as well. These awards recognise his outstanding talent and lasting impact on the world of entertainment. Challenges and Comebacks Like many actors, Al Pacino has faced challenges in his career. He went through periods of success and decline, but his determination and passion for acting always brought him back to the spotlight. His comeback roles such as Center for Women, where he won the Oscar, his first Oscar, marked a triumphant moment in his career and solidified his status as a Hollywood legend. Al Pacino's personal life is a fascinating complement to his illustrious career. His upbringing, relationships, passions and dedication to the arts provide insight onto the man behind the iconic roles. Despite the fame and acclaim that have come his way, Pacino remains grounded in his love for acting and his commitment to his craft. His journey from the humble beginnings to Hollywood stardom is a testament to his enduring talent and the indelible mark he has left on the world of entertainment. Al Pacino's Influence on Pop Culture Al Pacino, the iconic actor known for his powerful performances, has left an indelible mark on the pop culture over the decades. His compelling portrayals of complex characters, memorable catchphrases, and enduring presence in the entertainment industry have made him an icon. Iconic Roles and Catchphrases Al Pacino's performances in classic films have given rise to some of the most iconic moments and catchphrases in the cinematic history. One of his most famous lines come from the film Scarface 1983, where he passionately declares, Say hello to my little friend. This memorable quote has become a cultural reference and is often parodied and imitated in various forms of media. Similarly, his portrayal of Michael Corleone in the Godfather trilogy, particularly in the first two films, has had a profound influence on pop culture. The character's transformation from a reluctant son to a ruthless mafia boss has been referenced and emulated in countless films, TV shows, and even video games. Parodies and Homages Al Pacino's iconic characters and performances have been the subject of numerous parodies and homages in various forms of media. Comedians, actors, and impersonators have imitated his distinctive voice, mannerisms, and intensity in countless sketches and comedy routines. This demonstrates the enduring impact of Pacino's work on the comedic landscape of pop culture. In addition to parodies, many filmmakers and artists have paid homage to Pacino's role and style. Directors and writers have drawn inspiration from his performances, crafting characters and scenes that evoke the spirit of Pacino's iconic character. This interplay between homage and parody is a testament to the lasting influence of his work. Fashion and Style Al Pacino's character have often been associated with distinctive fashion choices that have left a mark on pop culture. 
Tony Montana's sartorial choices in Scarface, including his shop suits and signature white suit jacket, have become iconic in their own right. This has influenced not only fashion trends but also costume choices for Halloween and themed parties. Pacino's characters often exude a sense of cool and charisma that has been admired and emulated by fans. His portrayal of characters like Michael Carleone and Tony Montana, who carried themselves with an air of confidence and swagger, has contributed to a broader cultural fascination with the anti-hero figure in pop culture. References in Music and Art Al Pacino's influence extends beyond film and television. He has also made appearances in the world of music and art. Musicians and songwriters have referenced his name and characters in song lyrics, showcasing the cultural significance of his work. Additionally, Pacino's likeness has been the subject of various artworks, including paintings and sculptures. Artists have been inspired by his distinctive features and the depth of emotion he conveys in his roles. This crossover between acting and visual art highlights his status as a cultural icon. Impact on Future Generations Al Pacino's contributions to pop culture continues to influence and inspire new generations of actors and artists. Many aspiring actors look up to him as a symbol of talent, dedication, and versatility in the craft of acting. His enduring presence in the industry serves as a reminder of the impact a single individual can have on the cultural landscape. Al Pacino's influence on pop culture is undeniable and far-reaching. His iconic roles, memorable catchphrases, and unique style have made him a cultural icon whose impact extends into the various facets of entertainment and beyond. As his work continues to be celebrated and referenced in contemporary media, Al Pacino's enduring legacy in pop culture remains a testament to his status as one of the most revered actors in Hollywood history. Al Pacino's Philanthropic Efforts Making a Difference Al Pacino, the legendary actor known for his powerful performances on screen and stage, has made a significant contribution to charitable causes and philanthropic efforts throughout his career. While he is celebrated for his talent in the entertainment industry, his commitment to giving back to the community demonstrates his compassion and desire to make a positive impact on the world. Actor Studio Al Pacino's dedication to his craft and his desire to support aspiring actors led him to become involved in the Actor Studio, one of the most prestigious acting schools and theatres in the world. He has shared his knowledge and experiences with emerging talents, providing guidance and mentorship to help them hone their skills and pursue careers in acting. Pacino's involvement with the Actor Studio is a testament to his belief in the importance of nurturing young talent and preserving the art of acting for future generations. His contributions to this renowned institution have helped shape the careers of many aspiring actors. Charitable Donations Al Pacino has made generous charitable donations to various causes over the years. While he typically keeps these contributions private, they have been directed towards organizations and initiatives that align with his values and priorities. Pacino's support for charitable organizations reflects his commitment to addressing critical issues, whether they relate to education, healthcare, or social justice. His willingness to use his resource to make a positive impact on society demonstrates his philanthropic spirit. Public Advocacy Although Al Pacino is known for his privacy regarding his philanthropic activities, he has occasionally used his public platform to advocate for causes he cares about. Whether addressing social issues in interviews or speaking at events, he has raised awareness about important topics such as veterans' rights, addiction recovery, and the importance of the arts in education. Pacino's ability to use his fame and influence to shine a light on pressing issues demonstrates his commitment to making a difference beyond the world of entertainment. Support for the Arts As a passionate advocate for the arts, Al Pacino has been actively involved in efforts to support and promote cultural institutions and artistic expression. He understands the transformative power of the arts in enriching lives and communities. Pacino's participation in charity events, fundraisers, and cultural initiatives has contributed to the growth and sustainability of arts organizations. His belief in the importance of artistic endeavors in fostering creativity, empathy, and understanding underscores his commitment to promoting the arts as a force for positive change. While Al Pacino is celebrated worldwide for his extraordinary acting talent, his philanthropic efforts and commitment to making a difference in the world are equally remarkable. 
through his involvement with organizations like the Acre Studio, his charitable donations, and his advocacy for important causes, Pacino has demonstrated a deep sense of compassion and a desire to give back to society. His philanthropic endeavors reflect not only his generosity, but also his belief in the power of individuals to affect change and improve the lives of others. Al Pacino's legacy extends beyond the silver screen, serving as an inspiration for both his contributions to the arts and his commitment to making the world a better place through philanthropy and advocacy. Al Pacino's Legacy in the Entertainment Industry Al Pacino's legacy in the entertainment industry is monumental. His powerful acting, unforgettable roles and dedication to his craft have made him a true Hollywood icon. From his iconic portrayal of Michael Corleone in The Godfather to his memorable roles in Scarface and Center for Women, Pacino has left an indelible mark on the film history. His ability to bring complex characters to life with depth and authenticity has earned him numerous awards and the admirations of the audiences worldwide. Beyond his acting prowess, Pacino's influence extends to the stage where he has showcased his versatility and passion for theatre. His philanthropic efforts and advocacy for the important causes further exemplify his enduring impact. Al Pacino's legacy as an actor, mentor and philanthropist will continue to inspire generations to come.